Ukrainian troops have been conducting a military operation in the Kursk region since August the 6th. This fact has taken the Russian leadership by surprise and poses a challenge to the Putin regime. A superpower without full control over its territory is a demonstration of its weakness and vulnerability. This development undermines the widespread idea that Russian President Putin holds all the cards in the war and can dictate the terms. The effect and purpose of the Kursk operation may also be to once again demonstrate the fallacy of the Western argument about Russian red lines. An international expert from France, former employee of the KGB and the Foreign Intelligence Service of the Russian Federation, Sergei Zyanov, shared his thoughts on these and other issues in an exclusive interview with Osbo Revitel media outlet. According to him, Everyone has long understood that there is no such thing as a huge Russian state. The Russian Federation today is a huge country in terms of territory, very weak, economically ineffective. And everyone understands this. No one simply dared to show this. And now Ukraine has once again decided to demonstrate this state of affairs, he added. According to him, that is, roughly speaking, the Russian Federation has a front similar to the First World War, which they have been building since 2015 in Donbass. They have built concrete fortifications there, created defense lines on both sides. But if you just take a strong battalion and enter the Bryansk, Oryol or Lipetsk regions, then you, like Prigozhin in 2023, can occupy them in a few hours. And no one will defend themselves there. Because you have to understand that 17.5 million square kilometers with a population of 145 million cannot be defended, he added. Meanwhile, the Russian oligarch of the first magnitude, Derry Pasca, gave an interview to a Japanese agency in which he spoke unusually harshly about Putin's war in Ukraine. He harshly criticized Russia's spending on the war, called the war itself crazy and called for negotiations on a ceasefire without any conditions. Sergei Zyanov says that Derry Pasca's statements are such a bolt from the blue because, for the first time, a truly significant person in the Russian Federation integrated into the system suddenly said openly that all of this is a complete mistake and the war must be ended. In my opinion, Derry Pasca's statements demonstrated the general feeling in the oligarchic environment of the Russian Federation today. That is, this trend of dissatisfaction with Putin, it exists but it is so sluggish. Roughly speaking, if someone removes Putin or this whole thing ends, then the elites will immediately say that we have been fighting him here for many years. But now they are not ready and do not want to climb out into the embrasure of the fight against Putin. So it is unlikely that we should expect some kind of conspiracy of oligarchs, but discontent will grow, he added. Russian leader Vladimir Putin has convened a meeting regarding the situation in the regions bordering Ukraine and demanded that Russia's defense ministry push the enemy out of Kursk Oblast. The defense ministry is definitely facing the main task of pushing the enemy out of our territories and, in coordination with the border service, ensure robust protection of the state border, he said. Putin also claimed that Ukraine seems to be trying to improve its future negotiating position. It is now clear why the Kiev regime refused our proposals to return to the plan for peaceful settlement, Putin said. The enemy, with the help of its Western masters, it is doing their bidding, and the West is waging war against us using Ukrainians, seeks to improve its negotiating position in the future. But what kind of negotiations can we even talk about with people who indiscriminately strike civilians, civilian infrastructure or try to create threats to nuclear power facilities, the president went on to say. What can we even talk about with them? He said that Russian armed forces are advancing along the entire line of combat engagement in the special operation zone. The pace of advancement of the Russian armed forces along the entire front has increased by 1.5 times. Kiev tried to destroy the cohesion of Russian society, but it failed, the number of those wishing to sign a contract with the Russian armed forces has increased, he said. The situation in the Kursk region is complicated, 28 settlements are under the control of Ukraine, Alexei Smirnov, acting governor of the Kursk region, said in a meeting with Putin. The fate of nearly 2,000 people from the province is unknown, he added.
He added that Ukrainian forces had advanced 12 kilometers into Russian territory in an incursion that began on August 6. There is no clear front line in the Kursk region, which makes it difficult to determine the enemy's location, he said. Alexei Smirnov told that an anti-tank ditch has already been dug in the Kursk region for 40 kilometers. According to him, sabotage groups with Russian documents are operating in the Kursk region. На сегодняшний день под контролем противника находится 28 населенных пунктов. Глубина проникновения на территорию Курской области составляет 12 километров. Ширина по фронту 40 километров. Ну, это, нам, находится... это, послушайте, Алексей Борисович, это военное да. ведомство вам доложит, какая там ширина и глубина. Вы расскажите нам про социально-экономическую ситуацию и о помощи людям доложите. Да, но...